Oh yeah, we're back at Disneyland today, dude. The kids had just started school, so it's Solo Dad Day. We're gonna be checking out the Emporium to see the Halloween merch that is up, and we are here to eat today. So let's start our adventure. And there she goes, Cruella herself. Always ready for the Paparazzi. Oh yeah. Or should I say Paparazzi? <laughs> <laughs> So first thing up for today is we're heading to Fantasyland because we're gonna eat at Red Rose Tavern. I actually heard that they got a pretty good coffee there, plus they serve breakfast. But just like Cruella said, dude, you wanna hear something funny? Now for years, I mean years, I would see people walking around wearing Crocs and I would say those are the ugliest things that I've ever seen in my life. Why would anybody waste any amount of money on them and then I came to Disneyland the other day and my feet were hurting and uh, I decided to buy myself some Crocs. And let me tell you, dude, these things are like super comfortable. After walking around a theme park all day with Crocs on, dude, you don't even feel the pain in your feet or the ankles. But one thing I will say when I am walking around wearing these, I feel like a hobbit. I mean, honestly, dude, these are like hobbit feet right here. But comfortable hobbit feet. Damn, that's a huge pimple. Instead of going through the castle to get to Red Rose Tavern, we're gonna take a back way. This is actually a secret way. Oh! I mean, it's not really secret. I'm pretty sure a lot of people know about this path. Maybe that wasn't as funny as I thought it was gonna be. Check this out, before we go to Red Rose Tavern, I found this the other day for my first time ever. Never knew this was here. Thought it was chill going against the gray and go whoop, whoop, whoop. Dude, right in here. Check it out. So you can come in here, sit down, and watch a movie. So Orange County, I believe, is fully back in school, but summer here at Disneyland is still bumping, as you can see here in Fantasyland. We're not here for the rides today, man. We're here to grub. We finally made it here to Red Rose Tavern, and currently they are serving breakfast. This is what I'm gonna grab. This is the Beast Breakfast Burger for $10.99. It's a one third pound Angus patty, bacon, orange marmalade. That sounds pretty interesting. Got some eggs, some arugula, and a toasted bun. They have a vegetable quinoa that's, eh, I mean, that doesn't look like my cup of tea. You have an American breakfast, has scrambled eggs, potato bites, choice of hickory smoked bacon or sausage served or petite croissant, $9.49. That's not a bad price. And then you have this Mickey shaped pancake for $9.49. This one looks way more filling than that one. But enough of me talking, let's grab the Beast Breakfast Burger. We grabbed a seat outside, now let's unravel this breakfast sandwich. Now, I've only had breakfast here at Tomorrowland at Galactic Grill. How is this sandwich gonna compare to the other breakfast sandwich? So right off the back, it is pretty fat. You got that Angus burger right here. You can see that they have a big hunk of egg. Now on top, right there is the arugula. The marmalade is underneath that. And it comes with tater tots. And as we take a closer look into the tater tots, the tater tots are looking solid. Now, time for the taste test. Nice and crunchy. A little on the salty side, but all in all, some pretty good tater tots. I think I'm gonna give these tater tots right here a five out of 10. I mean, they're tater tots. But we ain't here to try no tater tots. We're here for the Beast Burger, or inside it said the Sunrise Burger, but I'm pretty sure they're equally both the same. I mean, it works, but one of the first things that I notice is the egg. The egg here at the Red Rose Tavern is way different than the egg that you will be getting in the breakfast sandwich at Galactic Grill in Tomorrowland. The one in Tomorrowland is a lot fluffier, while this one, as you can see right there, it is pretty dense. 
Now, I do enjoy the sweetness that you get from the bacon bit orange marmalade, but the arugula doesn't really come through on this breakfast burger. So, I think I'm gonna go ahead and give this breakfast burger a six out of 10. If you're coming here to Disneyland and you're looking for a great breakfast sandwich, I'm gonna go ahead and highly recommend go ahead check out Galactic Grill Dude in Tomorrowland. They have a great breakfast burrito. They got a great breakfast sandwich. They got French toast sticks for the kids, dude. I'll probably come back here to Red Rose Tavern to try some of their other items. But I mean, I mean this is pretty decent. Another thing I grabbed was their Tavern Cold Brew. This coffee is really solid. Oh yeah, dude, this is a great way to start the day here at Disney. This coffee right here is easily getting a seven out of 10. Oh, and real quick, last week I was here at Disney with the family for our end of summer blast. I did not film, but I saw this at the Star Trader in Tomorrowland, dude. Check out this sick backpack, dude. It's the Wookiees and Rebel Star Wars backpack. I got this for 50 bucks. Dude, they have a lot of cool things. They got a pouch on this side, pouch here, and then they have this right here, which contains one of the books that I'm reading, The Minders. This is a pretty good book, dude. If you love books, definitely go to Barnes & Noble's and check that out. And look how big the inside is. Look. Oh, look, there's something I bought that I'll show you guys a little later. So all in all, the breakfast here at Red Rose Tavern was pretty decent. We had an okay burger and we had an excellent coffee. But if you're looking for a good coffee here, you don't want to wait in that big Starbucks line up front. Red Rose Tavern, dude, the Tavern Cold Brew, highly recommend this. Now, it's time to get some more food. So before we carry on any further, let's go back to talking about Crocs. Now I'm interested in what you guys think about Crocs. Let's go ahead, comment down below, let me know your thoughts about Crocs and if you actually even own a pair. Here's something else I'm interested in. When you are here at Disneyland or the Disney parks, which one of these ice creams is your go-to? Mine is actually the Outshine Fruit Bar. Dude, I love that thing. If you're looking for another good breakfast item, right here you can get a pretty good breakfast chimichanga. This is that music, dude. Bum, bum. Having a good day here at Disneyland, man. But guess what, dude? We are like super, super close to hitting 2,000 subscribers, man. I think we're actually maybe like almost 20 away, dude. And you guys know I don't really live stream and I don't really do a lot of giveaways, but for, for the 2,000 subscribers, man, I'm gonna be doing a huge giveaway, dude. I mean, a huge giveaway. And I think the two items, I'm gonna be giving away two items. I think you guys are really gonna like it. So let's get a 2000 dude. And then I will be dropping a video on how to enter. And I will be showing you what I will be giving away. Let's head to Critter Country so we can eat at Hungry Bear Restaurant. Are you hungry? Well, yes I am. And these are the two items that we'll be getting here today. First up, we have the fried green tomato sandwich on sourdough bread. Next up is the watermelon lemonade slushy. Dude, I am really excited to try this fried green tomato sandwich. I've heard great things about this and this will be my first time trying it. The thing I like is you do get the option between french fries and onion rings. I love the onion rings here at Hungry Bear, but it is a little hot today. So let's try this watermelon lemonade slushy first. Ooh, has that nice little lemony tart to it. You get that nice hint of watermelon in this. Yeah, dude, this is very refreshing, but don't drink too fast, dude. Brain freeze, brain freeze. Yeah, man, I really like this watermelon slushy, and for the price of $5.99 plus some tax, you cannot beat that. I'm gonna go ahead and give this watermelon lemonade slushy an easy seven 
out of 10. Now it's time to try the fried green tomato sandwich. Now my mom's a huge fried green tomato fan. And like I said earlier, I've heard a lot of great things about this. You gonna try this? Yeah. Cheers. Ding. So the fried green tomato sandwich for me works pretty well together. Now you have a lot of flavors going on in here. One thing I like is the sourdough bread. On the outside it's nice and crunchy, but on the inside is nice and soft. You get a nice little bite from the arugula itself. You get acidity from the fried green tomato. And one thing I really like is the nice smoothness of the mascarpone in this sandwich. Personally, for me, I really enjoyed this fried green tomato sandwich. Now, I can highly recommend you trying this when you're here if you're a fan of fried green tomatoes. I'm going to give this one a solid 7 out of 10. Now, what about you, Mom? The um, fried green tomato sandwich didn't really work for me. There was too much going on in the sandwich. Uh, the sandwich itself served as is. I would give a, uh, a, a 5. We've eaten some food, now it's time to head back up Main Street so we can check out the new Halloween merch for 2022. So as we can see, the Haunted Mansion is down for refurbishment right now, but don't worry, it will be back up, dude, and it's everybody's favorite thing. Look, dude, look, there he is. It's good old Sandy Claus. So coming back September 4th, dude, Seasons of Screams is coming back, dude. I cannot wait. I cannot wait for a nightmare before Christmas. So no lie bro, it is kind of hot today, so a short day at the theme parks is welcome. But now here we are at the Emporium. Let's get inside and check out the new merch for 2022. Now right here you can see they have a Philly Fantastic Mickey Mouse shirt. Let's see what else they have. Oh look, they got this cool little shirt for the kiddos right here and this is going to be about 30 bucks. If you want to go trick-or-treating in style, man, they have these light-up Mickey pumpkins. Check out this blanket, dude. I love this blanket right here, especially with all that decal. That is looking pretty good, but look what caught my eye right there. Look, dude, it's Grogu as a mummy. That's pretty chill, dude, and that's not a bad price for $22.99, and they have a Halloween Christmas ornaments. Okay, got a cookie jar, you have kitchen towels. Now you have these new ears for this year for $29.99. You have a Minnie Mouse hat that I think is really, really rad, but I am digging this right here, man. Look at that shirt. Love the whole style of this shirt right here. I don't know, dude. I might have to get that. And then right here, they have this spooktacular uh, shirt for the ladies. Let's go around. Now, this is going to be your Happy Halloween 2022 shirt right here. Mickey Mouse, you have that decal like the shirt that we just saw. Now, this is going to be 30 bucks as we go around. Oh, dude, look at this hoodie. This is a sick hoodie. I'm for sure going to have to invest in this hoodie also and this hoodie is going to be $69.99 you have some matching pants right there and these are going to be $49.99 and let's go this way real quick that's a cool shirt that they have here they have more shirts right here for the little kids you have a goofy's popcorn mix up we have these Mickey Mouse wands right here, but this shirt I'm liking. Look, got Mickey Mouse right there. You got a little ghost, you got Donald Duck, you have Goofy, and you can get this shirt for $29.99. They also have this cool ghost hat. The ghost has a little orange Mickey Mouse. Got Boo on the back right here. We got Mickey Mouse pumpkin coffee mugs. They have scented palm wax candles, foam soap dispensers. 
They have this cool spectacular getup for the little ones. They got this cool pillow set. On one side you have the Mickey and then on the other side you have the ghost. They also have this really cool happy Halloween countdown. Check it out, dude. You have Mickey right there and you have Minnie. If you are a fan of Hocus Pocus like me, man, they have this cool spirit jersey. Now they also have this coffee mug that says Hocus Pocus right here. Let's move over. So they got some cups. They have Christmas ornaments. And check it out, dude. They got little plushies of all of them. Look at these headbands, too. So I believe this is Ursula right here. And then they have Hades. I am quite not too sure what his name is on the bottom. They have this pretty sick Oogie Boogie hat. I like this Full of Spirit Zero shirt. And check out this Jack Skellington backpack, dude. <laughs> As we're walking out of the Emporium, they also have these Happy Halloween Halloween totes. Now the cool thing is, you can actually get these for $24.99 if you make a purchase of $40 or more. So let's make our way outside of the Emporium, and there is one more place on Main Street that you're going to be able to find some Halloween stuff. And that's going to be right across the way right here, dude, at the Main Street Hotel. Now, they'll probably primarily have the same things that we just saw in here, but we're just going to go in here and double check. Yeah, here's that hoodie that I'm for sure going to have to get, dude. It's on this back wall. Yeah, so they have some of the same things that we just saw, but I did not see any of these right across the way. So you have this really cool Minnie Mouse. Yeah, that is cute. And this is going to be for $29.99. They have this really cool Mickey Mouse right here. And as we turn directly behind me, you're going to find more of the stuff that we just saw across the way. Sweater, kid shirt, that shirt I like, this I like, another Halloween tote right here ears and check it out bro they have all of these really sick halloween pins and if you are a pin collector like me you're for sure gonna have stop in here and collect them oh wait now i did not see this across the way my spooky place that's a pretty cool shirt for the ladies and they have all these halloween accessories they have this skeleton right here they have some shot glasses they have a rest in pieces, uh, I don't know, an ice bucket or somewhere you throw trash, um, a lamp that my mom has shown. They got more shot glasses here. They have a table runner and look, they have more Halloween Christmas tree decorations. Well, that's going to be our quick little stay here at Disneyland today. Oh, wait, 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 hold up. I forgot something. The surprise in the backpack what is in the bag and what did i purchase are you guys ready to find out <laughs> Ding! yeah man i saw this shirt and i had to grab it i mean you can't live your best disney life without some halloween gear and some disney crocs oh yeah dude Get this. I love this print, man. I'm glad I grabbed this. How's it look, guys? Go ahead and comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. It's time for the Halloween season, baby. So thank you to every single one of you coming out today, hanging out with me for this quick little video at Disneyland, man. Now remember, we cannot do this without every single one of you. Thank you very much for every single one of your support. It truly means a lot to me, man. It really does. And if you guys haven't subscribed, go ahead and go down below, bro, and subscribe because we're almost at 2,000 subscribers and we're just about to have a 2,000 subscriber huge giveaway. Well, you guys have a great day and I will catch you next video. Deuces!